Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech and in today's video I want to share five Samsung exclusive apps that you can download on your Samsung Galaxy S9 or the S9 Plus to enhance your overall experience of using this fantastic smartphone. So let's dive in and discover all the apps I'm talking about. Real quick before we dive in, if you are wondering what case I'm using right now for my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus or the S9, I will drop a link to this case in the description box down below. All right, let's go. Now, as these apps are Samsung exclusives, you cannot get them in the Play Store. So when you go to your Samsung device, what I want you to do is I want you to swipe over, go to the app drawer, and then scroll over to where it says Samsung. It's going to have a folder in your uh, phone that says Samsung. So tap on it and go to Galaxy Apps instead of going to actual Play Store. And this is where you're going to find all the apps that I'm actually talking about. So let's launch the Galaxy Apps. And the location you're going to find these apps that I'm going to talk about are in the exclusives section on the top. So this is an entire Play Store just for the Samsung phones. Now most of the apps are going to be right here like I said. They're going to be here. At, they're going to be over here in the Galaxy Essentials section. But you don't have to go over here because they may change positions. All you have to do is as I talk about the app, you can uh, come over here and simply search for the app. And that's going to bring it right up. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the first app I'm going to talk about. So let's swipe up and uh, let's go over here. And the first app I'm going to talk about is the actual music player for Samsung, actually built by Samsung. So many of these Samsung phones do not come with this Samsung music player pre-installed. Instead, what you get is you get the uh, play music. So let's uh, go over here, launch this. I'm going to show you why I like this one. So there's a couple things I really like about this that have been updated. So if you launch this guy, first and foremost, it just looks nice. Uh, here's the little player over here. You can play music. But as I'm playing the music, if you notice, there was some lighting around the edges of the actual device. So that's an option you can enable in the Samsung Music app. So how do you do that? What you can do is you can tap on the settings, go into the settings, and then scroll down and make sure edge lighting is enabled. And once edge lighting is enabled, like I said, you simply go out there, uh, you play a music. Let me just turn off the volume so it doesn't distract me from talking. So if I play the music, it's going to actually light the edges of the screen, which is a great little effect. And of course, in addition to that uh, thing, you can also go directly into sound quality and effects over here. And from here, you can actually uh, enable or disable the Dolby Atmos option that comes with all the S9 and S9 Pluses. And of course, you can also access the equalizer over here. You have a basic one that you can use as a dial or you can tap on advanced and that will take you to the advanced equalizer from where in uh, you can make modifications as you please. Let's go back here for a minute. Go back to basic. And of course, if you disable Dolby Atmos, you actually get some other options enabled at the bottom here that you can also play with. Okay, but I do recommend uh, actually keeping this enabled because that's going to give you the best sound quality effects. So that's the other thing. And of course, the one more thing, let me just pause. Actually, let me keep playing. I'm going to show you one more thing. If you go to the settings, uh, what you can do is you can enable this option, control using lock screen. So if you enable this, and if you go to the lock screen, uh, the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see the actual music player. And as you can see, it changes its uh, nature a little bit. And even on the lock screen, it's going to actually uh, do the edge lighting effect. Okay, so let's go back inside. So again, make sure to go to uh, Galaxy Apps and download Samsung Music. All right, let's move on to the next app I'm going to talk about. So the next app here is the one that's called the Car Mode. So basically, Car Mode uh, is something that you want to use while you're driving your car, as the name suggests. When you launch the car mode, it's going to show you a bunch of different options. So first, when you uh, log in, it's going to ask you to give some permissions, agree to the terms, and then boom, you're going to get this nice little interface. From here, you have access to all the basics, your phone, audio, messages, locations. Uh, you can even find my car uh, for parking purposes. And of course, you have a bunch of settings here that you can modify. Uh, let me go back here for a minute, though. You can scroll over, you have access to the music player. You can even access play music and actual Google Maps from here. You can also use your voice to control this whole thing. So you can tap this icon here and that allows you to actually uh, give some voice commands. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that right now, but you get the idea. 
And of course, if you do go to the settings over here, uh, and if you scroll down a little bit, you have a bunch of options. Uh, you have the advanced options. You can tap it. Uh, you can set a call decline message. So if somebody calls you and you decline the call, it sends an automatic message. So if you go in here, you enable this, basically this is the message. And of course, it is editable as you please. Uh, let's go back out here. And of course, if your phone connects to the Bluetooth, you can uh, make sure that this car mode app launches automatically as soon as it recognizes that it just connected to your car's Bluetooth player. And uh, then you have a bunch of custom uh, settings you can play with also. But basically, yes, that's it. This is a car mode app. Uh, it's going to make sure that you're focused on driving instead of actually playing with your phone, but still giving you access to some of the basic things. And of course, you can swipe one more time and at least you have access to a widget here. Uh, this is your music player. And this is, in fact, your weather widget. All right. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's actually uh, exit. To exit, what you do is you tap on this icon a couple times and it says close and you say close. All right. It goes right back up. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention on the car mode application. If you do go to the settings over here, uh, you can actually go to the default apps. And if you tap on this guy, uh, you can actually choose which audio app you want to use as your default music player, just so there's no problem. So if you tap on this one here, uh, you can either pick Samsung Music or you can download Google Play Music. Or if you want, they actually have all these apps available for you to actually download and play with. So that's just one more secret hidden within the actual app itself. So all these players can be downloaded. And of course, if you go back, you can do the same thing with the navigation app. Of course, I recommend you use Google Maps because this is always up to date. Uh, but you do have options uh, such as Waze, which a lot of people do use. And also these two over here. Uh, here we go. And Sajic Car Navigation. All right. Now let's go back to the other one. And the next app over here is the one called Voice Recorder. So again, this is not an app that comes with your phone, but you can go to Galaxy Apps and actually download it. And if you tap on this guy, it basically is a very nice, uh, basic looking, however, advanced voice recorder. So you can use it as a standard recorder. So if you tap on record, it starts to record your uh, uh, whatever you're saying. And as you can see, it's actually drawing a nice little graph and you can uh, stop it and you can save it. And you can even create a category if you so desire. So you can add a category and just save it into the category. Uh, what you can do is if you're doing an interview, uh, you can go back over here, you can tap to interview, and that's going to allow you to use the microphone on the top and the bottom to create an interview process. So you can press record, and if somebody's talking on the side that I'm in right now, as you can see, it is picking up that side. But if somebody was on this side, let me just make some noise. As you can see, the microphone on the top is picking that noise. So this is the interview uh, voice recording. All right, so click that. And again, just make sure you put the phone like this and one person is on this side and the other person is going to be on that side. And the top microphone is going to pick the person on that side, obviously. And the bottom microphone is going to pick the person on this side. And finally, in this app, if you go over to, let me just discard this, uh, speech to text. You can basically uh, record anything you want and it's going to convert your voice into text. So let me show you one example. Hey, how are you doing today? Okay, so as you can see, it was able to uh, convert exactly what I, I, what I was saying into actual text. Okay, absolutely fantastic. Let's cancel out of this one. Just save it. So that is the free voice recorder app. Okay, so next up we have what's called the Snap Biz Card. So this is going to appeal to people that actually uh, maybe are professionals and they actually use business cards a lot. This app is very simple and to the point. Basically, you just launch it. It starts to use your camera to snap a picture of business cards that you can save over here uh, as many as you want. And you can give them special names and you can even search through them. So if you were to snap a picture of a painter's business card, or perhaps you can snap a picture of a pizza shop's business card, uh, you simply click plus, uh, you grab the phone, you take the picture of that actual card, and it's going to save it over here uh, in this as a list form. 
and then you can simply search for it in the future. So even if you have thousands of business cards over here, uh, you can search through them uh, if you so desire to access that pizza shop or access, access that business person that you were uh, interested in working with. Okay, so very easy app. And like I said, just go to Galaxy Apps, search for business cards, and it's going to pop right up. Actually, no. <clears throat> search for Snap Biz Dash Card. And that's going to show right up. So the final app I'm going to talk about actually is four different apps. So you download this one app and it gives you four apps. So the name of this application is called Hancom Office. So basically, this is a replica of Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and all that good stuff. So if you go to Galaxy Apps and if you tap, um, if you search for Hancom, uh, it's going to be right over here, Hancom Office Editor, and just uh, download this. It's going to be a big file. It's going to take a little while. Uh, not this one actually, uh, it's called Hancom Office. This one right here. So you're going to see this one already installed, but you want to, you, what you want to do is you want to download the uh, Hancom Office only. Once you download this guy, it's going to split into four apps and they're going to drop into your app drawer as you can see right here. You've got the uh, spreadsheet, the, the PowerPoint, and the Word. So this is just as advanced as Microsoft Word if you were to actually pay for that, okay? So it gives you full word editing functionality. Uh, it gives you full presentation capabilities. It also gives you full Excel spreadsheet capabilities. So let me just show you the, uh, the spreadsheet real quick. So if you go over here and if you click plus, it creates a brand new uh, cell for you. So it looks just like the actual Microsoft Word Excel. Uh, if you go to the Word document over here, uh, you click plus, uh, you can start typing on the spot. So it's going to be tiny, but you can always zoom in. So if you if you zoom in, you can see the text. So over here. So for example, let's just highlight that text for a minute. Tap on this guy. And as you can see, you have access to all these different options. You can change the font color uh, to any color you want. As you can see, red over here. Then you can go back. You can change the underlining. You can make it bold. Uh, you even have options such as styling. You tap on the styles. You can make it into a heading. Uh, you have the text position. You can do standard, raise, lower. You get the idea. If you use Microsoft Word, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you go over here, you have all these options. You have uh, indenting, spacing, bullet numbering. Everything is right here. Okay, Margins, orientation, and boom, everything else right over here. So again, Hancom Office, if you go and download that, uh, allows you to have full access to all these nice apps that you, you can start to use immediately completely for free uh, just because you have a Samsung smartphone. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed discovering some new apps for your brand new and shiny Samsung Galaxy S9 or the S9 Plus. And one more time, if you are wondering what case I'm using for my S9 Plus or your S9, check the link in the description box down below. Guys, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech, give this video a thumbs up, and of course, do not forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Saki Tech Online.